What does it take to be a successful ultra marathoner with races that can last anywhere from 30 to 200 miles along rocky trails that keep you running upwards of 24 hours straight? Well, increasingly, these super athletes are saying a little weed goes a long way. Here with the story is WSJ senior sports editor Kevin Helliker. Hi, Kevin. Great Hi, to see you. Great to be here. Thank you. So, what is it exactly about marijuana that these super athletes find beneficial? in this specific training environment? So for these runners, the marathon, what we think of as the marathon is an hors d'oeuvre. I mean, right. that's like one-eighth of what some of them do. And as you can imagine, when you're running for more than 20 hours straight, you're feeling a lot of pain. And you can also uh, become no uh, nauseous. And um, it's really important to be able to, in to take some food, to take some nourishment. and. Um, so marijuana is a pretty much a proven painkiller. Mm -hmm. So suddenly those aches and pains, just a little bit duller. And it's also uh, been used by cancer patients to combat the nausea associated with chemotherapy. On a quick tangent here, though, these ultra marathoners, is this a growing group? I mean, these people seem superhuman. This, um, so what marathoners would say is that these are the people who can't run marathons really fast, so they oh. go super long. I don't know whether there's truth to that, right. but these people can go and go and go. These, the, these, this is the Energizer bu bunny. It's incredible. It's just multiplying. But speaking of going and going and going, one of the subjects in the article says the marijuana is the one thing that turns him off at night, because when you're running for 17 hours a day, it's really hard to shut that off. So obviously <laughs> these are type A yeah. right? I mean, you don't go out and run 200 miles unless you have a little bit of a problem, you know, relaxing. So it's for them, it's it's a little bit the all-purpose drug. It, but it can only be used in training, correct? Because it's still outlawed for competition. Well, it uh, so uh, the World Anti-Doping Agency has has long ruled mm -hmm. that marijuana is a perform is a banned drug. Okay. Uh, but it recently has become actually not so much banned. It's, it's entered the other category of, of being performance enhancing. So it's, it's, it's banned during competition, but in making that transition, the agency very much lowered the, uh, or, or raised uh, rather, the amount of THC in your system that would trigger a positive response. So you can get high the night before a race and you won't I was going I was curious about that whether it, the effect of using it for training would bleed into those tests before the performances but now it looks like that wouldn't be the case. The effect of using it for partying. Apparently. Right, that doesn't so, bleed into it. That. But they are taking it I would guess mostly not right. smoking they they have it uh, in in some kind of ener homemade energy bar that, that they can take while running. Quickly though, I would imagine that among the athletic community, even in Colorado, talking about your marijuana use is somewhat of a taboo subject. Were, they, were subjects open that's, about it for this that's article? That's what was really surprising. You're absolutely right. So you would think it's legal. Right. Uh, and you know, in some circles it's cool, so why wouldn't they talk about it? Well, we found one who would, but the, lo the large majority would not. And I suspect the reason is that they are using it in mm -hmm. competition and don't want to sort of put a target on their back. And yet there's even, there are even some that have pot sponsorships, so there are yeah. a few, right? Well, now he, is, he is the one who uh, is, is very open about it. And, right. Uh, but um, he maintains that he does not use it in competition. Absolutely. All right, Kevin, thank you so much for that.